2023 was a year full of amazing mods. I decided to gather 20 of the best mods released this year. Now without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Exposure mod is one that you'll love. For starters, you must prepare the camera for the shots, giving it a couple of components to run properly. Then just go around and find a beautiful place to shoot. While shooting, you can adjust many parts about the camera. It's also possible to use it with any shader you could think of, which is hard to believe considering the functionality of the mod. After you are done with your photographing trip, you could check out your color film, put it on a crafting table and add mundane, thick and awkward potions so that you can develop the film. Then put it on the lightroom bench, along with a paper and the cyan, magenta, yellow and black dyes. Then choose the image you would like to develop into a frame. Give it time to print, and there you go. You can place the images anywhere you would like, and use the shears to cut out the ugly corners. Laywine's third person prescriptive tends to not only enhance third and second person views, but completely overhauls it. The camera angle will now be shifted constantly to match the movement you are doing. You could also click Z to switch between the right and the left side and press it longer to switch to the middle view. This mod is so smooth, especially during battle scenes. Whenever you take aim at a target, the viewpoint will change drastically, aligning with your shoulder and heavily focuses on the enemy for higher accuracy. Building is now possible with third person prescriptive, which was an impossibility back then, even with the better third person mod and flying your elytra will be an experience of a lifetime. You will actually be enjoying the flight and unlike other mods such as do a barrel roll, the difficulty of flying an elytra will not increase whatsoever. An incredibly well developed mod is wakes. You'll now notice wakes around your boat. And if you zoom in a little closer, you'll notice that even Rowan has a wake of its own. This effect does apply to the player's collision as well, and it's possible to use it with a vast number of shaders. The best in my opinion being complementary reimagined due to its vanilla-ish nature. Wakesmod also make for an amazing assessment if you are looking to simulate the visuals from Mojang's promotional trailers. Being a mod with only one feature, Wakes definitely deserves a try from you my friend, and it's also client-sided, so you could use it on your favorite SMP with no issues at all. A musical mod that I just can't get enough of is Immersive Melodies. With this triumph in your game, you'll be able to simulate a multitude of popular musical pieces. There's even the possibility of importing your own songs into the game. Add the musical instruments are all craftable in the vanilla Minecraft. One of the features that stood out to me the most is how you can entrap some hostile mods, give them some musical instruments and they'll play for you non-stop. From the Fog is one of the most horrifying mods of the year. This mod added the notorious Hero Brian. So after your gameplay, you'll never see him much. If anything, you'll probably never see him in person. But he's there. He will be playing around with you in a scary way, looking at you from a distance and even staring you down while you're sleeping. This is one of the very few mods that didn't have to add a lot of content to be scary. In fact, it didn't add any blocks, items or mobs besides one scary entity, which is Herobrine. One of Yang's latest mods were Yang's Better End Island. With this mod, the author focused on making the end island a little more exciting to travel to. For starters, from new spawn platform to a spiky obsidian pillars and a completely different system for spawning the ender dragon. I guess you could already hear the bell sounds. That's coming from this cathedral over there. The moment you approach it, the giant will be summoned here where your battle will begin. Once defeating the ender dragon, you can also notice a new end gate design. This mod serves as a built-in refreshment to the end island and it's always a pleasure to showcase Yang's mod. 
Spawn is a newly developed animal mod, which included small but effective creatures into Minecraft. Some of these creatures can naturally spawn on the overworld. The player can interact with the animals, and they are quite reactive and not just for show. You can either kill them for various loot, or save them for yourself. The aquatic side of the game has also been reimagined with many types of marine life like the tuna, anglerfish, and seahorses. Those animals are also usable and interactive. Being inspired by the game Ultra Kill, UltraCraft is an absolute banger of a mod. The creator of this project treated us with some of the most impressive gun models and sounds. And not just that, but there are a number of enemies you could fight. The battle will be vicious with blood particles all over the place and chaos filling up the atmosphere. This mod is definitely one that will raise your adrenaline to the roof. And it's all free, which is kinda rare for this type of customizations. Alex's Caves was a non-ordinary mod, perhaps the most awaited project of the year, and it would not be an overstatement to say that it was the highlight 2023. The scheme of the mod was simple, adding new biomes with new mods. But the implementation is what made all the difference. Every single biome was made with absolute attention to detail. Same could be said about the maps. The look of each one of these maps is immaculate and they all seem to have gotten their share of care from the development team. And if you dug a bit deeper into the history of this mod's author, you'll know that he's indeed been blessing the community with the most beautiful mods of all time. Mods like Alex's maps with a complete renovation of nature and Minecraft, to Ice and Fire, a mod that was loaded with fantasy content for all players to enjoy. This is just a proof that Alexander is still going to be releasing crazier mods in the future, and I can't wait to see it. Many modern games are famous for their falling animations. Not Minecraft though, but don't worry, I've got you covered. The Better Fallen mod gives you a revamped falling animation that not only looks good and immersive, but can also control the speed of which you are falling when you press control. This is a very convenient and harmless mod to have around. Dipped Crawler mod came in as one of the best boss fight mods of the year. The special here is how the main boss, which is the Abyssal Deep, is so large in size, which makes it both super terrifying and an easy target due to its large hitbox. You will be disturbed by its earth shattering screams, but you'll also be impressed by its amazing design and creative shape as it has three giant eyes and sharp teeth all over its mouth. There are also some collectibles you can gather that look rather cute. Better Archaeology is a fun mod to expand upon the Minecraft Trails and Tales update. The Minecraft version was already cool enough, but with the Better Archaeology mod, there will be new structures with many hidden treasures for you to brush out. There's also a new type of villagers called the Archaeologist, and as the name implies, he trades archaeology things. And one of the most notable parts about the Besha Archaeology are the fossils. Although they make for an excellent decoration means, they have different uses outside of cosmetics such as scaring zombies away, or making different sounds when activated. There are also many fun items you could find in some of the dungeons. And my favorite is the bomb. Don't ask me why. More magic, not only is it a new mod, but also an underrated one. Sitting at only 2000 downloads, more magic gives you the chance of turning into a magician, with the mod offering all kinds of structures, items and blocks to use in your journey towards being the most powerful magician to ever live. Nvidia is one of the latest performance mods for Minecraft. As you can see, even in comparison to Sodium, Nvidia still wins. But this is merely the highlight of the mod. Nvidia offers a groundbreaking feature, which is the ability to see infinitely on the horizons without even losing FPS. And yeah, it was named Nvidia for a reason. No AMD players will be able to run this mod sadly, along with any user who plays on an old Nvidia card. 
the Ether is far from new, but I included it on the list simply because it was updated to Minecraft latest releases after almost 6 years of stagnancy. The mod offered a new dimension called the Ether. This place was meant to replicate heaven from ancient books and even modern movies. Throughout your journey, you'll come across all kinds of odd creatures, such as a flying wave, a lava boss, ruminant animals with wings and many structures sprinkled across a vast terrain of floating islands and artificial clouds. Villager transportation simply allows you to transport any villager whether on top of a camel or a llama. This mod is quite helpful as it rid you of having to figure out some weird railway system to transport those people into your base. Iron Spells and Spellbox was only released this year, yet it already has over 2 million downloads. But when you play the mod itself, you'll come to the realization that it is for a reason. The animation that came along with this mod are unreal. And the progression system gets you immersed into leveling up and discovering the true potential of this mod, making it perhaps one of the most captivating magic mods of all time. Celesticent is an excellent weapons mod that I like to use against big bosses from other mods. For starters, the animation of this mod is intense and quite rapid. There are also a wide range of weapons to choose from, each has a different kind of attack and style and animations. And you'll have a ton of fun playing it. One of the most sophisticated mods on the list is Doctor Who Reborn. Through entering the TARDIS, you will see some control panels that are extremely detailed and futuristic. You can freely travel through time and space just like the original British series Doctor Who and it's an overall amazing mod that is unfortunately quite overlooked with only 6000 downloads. True Ending and the Dragon Overhaul is a decent mod to spice up the final boss in Minecraft. This mod will make the Ender Dragon a lot more stronger with it having 300 HP instead of the casual 200. This boss will also perform new types of attacks that are a lot more destructive and it will also go through a final phase when it reaches 10% health. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you are into mods then you will love my top 200 mods video, it should serve you well, if so a subscribe would be much appreciated. See ya in the next one my friend.